Subscribe for daily boxing videos, guys. So last night, I saw George Groves versus Chris Eubank Jr. It was a fight I was looking forward to a lot. And I have to say, I was kind of disappointed in Chris Eubank Jr.'s performance. To be honest with you, what I witnessed is it kind of seemed like Chris Eubank Jr. was... He kind of fought like he was afraid, and he kind of fought like a boy. I felt like I was watching a man versus a boy in there. That's what I honestly felt like. Uh, for some reason, Chris Eubank Jr. just seemed way too afraid to engage. Uh, I think he was afraid because of George Groves' punching power. Maybe he was afraid because of the, the occasion. Or maybe he's just not that good. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he's just not as good as people thought he was. George Groves ha um, did a really good job with his jab. And now, in my opinion, he probably has the ability to become the undisputed super middleweight champion. Because the only other guys there, besides the winner of, obviously, What's his name? Ergen. I can never pronounce his name. That that guy who beat Rob Brandt versus uh, Callum Smith. Then you got Roberto, no, Gilberto Ramirez and uh, David Benavides. I think that's how you say his last name. Those are the other two champions. I think George Groves has the ability to beat all three of these guys. First, he's going to have to beat the, the winner of uh, Callum Smith versus, uh, which, which, versus uh, Ermin Bramer. Bramer. Uh, which I think he has the ability to do. But, like I said, I was disappointed in Chris Eubank Jr.'s tactics. He looked very wild. He didn't look like he was urgent enough. That's another thing. He didn't fight with enough urgency for my liking. He wasn't being aggressive enough. I think what he had to do was he had to cut the ring off and be more aggressive. But... Like I said in my in one of my videos that I made about this fight, I said that the way to beat Chris Eubank Jr. is you got to outbox him. Matter of fact, I made a video like a week ago, no, more than a week ago, it's on my channel, and I said if George Groves wants to beat Chris Eubank Jr., he better outbox him. He better make his ass come to him because Chris Eubank Jr. is really only good when you're on the inside against him, when you're in the pocket against him, so he could let his combinations off, his uppercuts, his body shots, and George Groves wasn't standing in front of him, was he? He was moving. Uh, so it was up to Chris Eubank Jr. to cut the ring off on George Groves and to be physical with George Groves. But he tried it and he failed. And he really got exposed once again for not being able to cut off the ring against fighters who are mobile. Now there's a blueprint. You know, when George Groves, when, uh, Chris Eubank Jr. lost to Billy Joe Sanders. A lot of people were saying, well, he was too green. Because if you remember, that was four years ago. And back then, people felt that, well, Chris Eubank Jr. was too green. Maybe he was just not ready for the occasion. But since then, he's gotten a lot better as a fighter. And he's gotten way more experience. And uh, he still got outboxed, didn't he? He still got outboxed. So that just goes to show you that that's the blueprint. Now, any fighter who fights Chris Eubank Jr. in the future will know the way to beat Chris Eubank Jr. is simply to outbox him. Um, and really, just to stay technical, I think if you fight wild with Chris Eubank Jr., that's when he will take advantage of you and, and you will give him the ability to beat you probably. But if you stay technical with Chris Eubank Jr., uh, you're probably going to beat him. Uh, and it's funny, I was seeing like some comments talking about, imagine what Gennady Golovkin would have done. First of all, after seeing this performance, Billy Joe Sanders would have schooled Chris Eubank Jr. Just like George Grove schooled Chris Eubank Jr. Because Billy Joe Sanders has gotten better since then. And George and, and since they fought, and uh, when, in terms of boxing, his boxing ability, and Chris Eubank Jr., Hasn't been able to learn how to cut the ring off on a guy who boxes him. And that's why he still gets outboxed. 
Uh, so forget about that. When it comes to the Gennady Golovkin fight, this might sound controversial, but I think it would be easier for for uh, Chris Eubank Jr. to get his punches off against Gennady Golovkin just because Golovkin stylistically will be all up in Chris Eubank Jr.'s face. And that's what Chris Eubank Jr. wants. If you if you notice in this fight, every time Chris Eubank Jr. went on the end, when he attempted to go on the inside against George Groves, he was throwing uppercuts, throwing body shots. Again, he had to look for Groves. Uh, against Golovkin, he wouldn't have to look for Golovkin. But again, uh, I still think Chris Eubank Jr. is a talent. I have a big feeling that uh, a lot of people are going to make fun of him now because they look at him like, okay, Chris Eubank Jr. lost to, to two guys. The two times he, he stepped up in class, he lost. But we have to keep in mind, it wasn't like he lost to two bums. Yes, he lost to two guys, but he lost to two legit fighters because I already see people saying that, wow, the two... The, the, Chris Eubank Jr., the first two times that he stepped up in world level, he lost. And he did. But like I said, it was against Billy Joe Sanders and George Groves. It wasn't like these two guys were bums. These two guys are champions. They're good fighters, right? They're elite fighters. So I don't think people should give up on Chris Eubank Jr. Just because he lost to two fights. Again, people don't seem to like him because he's arrogant. He's cocky. He thinks he's better than he actually is. And clearly he isn't. Like I said, I still think he's a good inside fighter. But like I said, the way to beat him, it, it's there. You got to outbox uh, George Groves. For example, if, I mean, Chris Eubank Jr. For example, if uh, Chris Eubank Jr. were to move up to uh, like heavyweight, I would pick someone like uh, Groznik to beat him. Because he's a boxer mover. You get what I'm saying? So, I guess the question is, where does George Groves... I mean, where does uh, Chris Eubank Jr. go from here? Probably going to fight a bum again. He's probably going to downgrade and fight a bum. He's going to knock out this bum in like two rounds. And then everybody's going to forget of the schooling he received from George Groves. And they're going to act like, okay, he's back and he's better than ever. But the reality is, he was in there with a guy who was... A bum, and that's why he beat him. But like I said, the minute he goes in there with a guy who knows how to box, he's going to lose again. Uh, I think a lot of people are saying that Chris Eubank Jr. is to get a new trainer because his father just isn't. First of all, what I have to say is his father, Chris Eubank Sr., you know, was in the post fight. He was he was he was saying he was being real with his son. He wasn't like saying, you know, this was a robbery. He was saying that his son just didn't perform. His son was just throwing power shots. His son just wasn't performing he was criticizing his son and gotta respect him for that because he was keeping it honest a lot of times especially you know father trainers they will just pretend like you know this was bs they'll say it was a robbery but he was just being real he was disappointed with his son's performance uh so gotta respect his father for keeping it 100 right there but when it comes to christian bank jr i think he has to learn how to cut the fucking ring off that's what i think he has to learn uh, and how to deal with technical fighters, you know. But anytime he fights a guy who's a technical fighter and a boxer and a guy that moves, he's gonna have problems because these because like I said, they know how to that he could lose getting out box. So I think he has to find a trainer that could teach him how to cut the ring off on these boxer mover type of fighters. Chris Bank Jr. is young. He's not even 30, so I'm not going to come on here and say, you know, he should retire. You know, Prince Nassim Hamid was saying he should retire from boxing. I'm not going to say that because he's young. He's in his prime. Uh, you know, I've seen a lot of people saying, you know, he's not as good as his father. His father, it wasn't like his father was. And I'm not saying he is as good as his father, Christian Bank Sr. But what I'm saying is his father, it wasn't like his father was an undisputed champion. His father won one belt. And that's it. He won one belt. And... Chris Eubank Jr. already has won a belt. So, you know, I just think that it's a, it's kind of harsh that people are crucifying Chris Eubank Jr. Because fighters improve. And don't be surprised if a year from now, everyone's saying Chris Eubank Jr. is the best super middleweight. Because like I said, I'm, when Chris Eubank Jr. lost to Billy Joe Sanders, people were making fun of him back then too because he was a cocky fighter. He was very arrogant. But you notice in the span of four years, he kind of picked himself together. 
So again, I know how boxing works. When a guy loses, people criticize him, they make fun of him, and then all of a sudden they're saying he's going to be the the next uh, champion or or he's the best champion at in his division. Give it a year, and everybody will be kissing Chris Eubank Jr.'s ass again. But right now, everybody's making fun of him. Again, guys, that's a lot to say. Let me know what you guys think of this video, and I'm out. Please subscribe for daily boxing videos, guys.